The conference started with a message from prominent Islamic scholar Fethullah Gulen, in which he underlined the importance of understanding Islam as a religion of peace, the way that it truly deserves to be understood. This is a message to the conference denouncing violence in the name of God, the case of Islam. That Islam does not ever condone violence, and that Islam indeed proposes solutions to this problem of humanity. For years, I have stated that a true Muslim, that is, one who understands Islam thoroughly, cannot be a terrorist, and that one who engages in terrorist acts cannot remain a Muslim, cannot remain within the fold of Islam. On all platforms and occasions, I have reiterated that Islam cannot permit or sanction a person to be killed in order to reach any goal. The conference aimed at understanding one of the highly debated issues of our time related to the issue of terrorism and its relevance in Islam as a world religion. One of the main questions that the speakers explored was the supposed link between terrorism and Islam as it has been a pervasive topic in the Western media. With a very strong dominance of the Arab culture. At, at which point then, you see, what became more important was struggle over the methodology. So philosophy was put aside and theology was sort of boiled down to what is in Arabic called ilm usul al-fiqh, that is the science of methodology through which you could arrive at fiqh, which is science and knowledge. You could not reach fiqh unless you went through ilm usul al-fiqh. You could not do it without going through the methodology. The methodologies then became more important than the outcomes and the methodologies became more and more constrained as time went on. On the issue of enmity between major religions in the world, the speakers noted that fundamental issues of conflicts are not related to religions themselves, but rather related to the political and economic agenda of individuals and leaders, often portrayed as part of a religious agenda to provide mass support for their causes. The speakers urged avoiding the mistake of generalizing when it comes to understanding religions with individual events, as this might lead to fundamental misunderstanding. The conference was a comprehensive effort at drawing a framework within which we should try to understand each other and other religions, especially within the context of Islam and terrorism. This was to provide an opportunity for interfaith dialogue and understanding and Oklahoma City University's had a partnership with the Institute of Interfaith Dialogue and when we entered into that agreement one of the things that we thought would be very important to do is to have a conference like this to talk about issues of violence and terrorism and deal with some of the, the many misunderstandings and misinterpretations that people have about Islam and some of its true teachings in relation to those issues. And certainly people who would never you know, consciously encounter uh, Muslims or even just people from, you know, different walks of life uh, suddenly are brought together. I was really impressed by the energy of the Turkish people involved in this. The interfaith movement really is, it's definitively a Turkish movement. Uh, and of course, you know, Turkey is that bridge between Europe and the Middle East. And, and even though it seems self-conscious, uh, I, when I moved to Texas, I was really delighted to meet the people. I, I'd gone to Turkey on my own the summer before, and when I arrived in Texas, I was really surprised to meet so many Turkish people, you know, who were, who were so active in, in trying to create a better atmosphere, uh, a deeper understanding of Islam. Well, I've enjoyed it very, very much. I, I find that having a number of different opinions has uh, been very, very helpful. People are being very straightforward and honest. I hope that the program is being recorded in such a way that other people that aren't here get an opportunity. Only then will it really help here. Many of the people are, so to speak, preaching to the choir, meaning there's, there's very few people that disagree with what's being said. Um, so an opportunity for people outside of this organization to hear about it would be great. And I am appreciative of the people that put it together.
Do you think that this kind of... I'm actually learning things that I can share with my Christian friends who insist that and the Muslim religion is different than the rest of us, that they are the terrorists of the world. And they're just not. <laughs> they're, they're more peaceful, I think, than um, a lot of the Christian things that are going on. Non-state actors to comply with these rules, then they have a greater interest in violating the rules because it redirects